But it is a truly amazing cause. Lincoln Telford is a sixth grader here at Sawtooth Middle School. He's just one of dozens of students getting ready to shave it all off for childhood cancer research. His dad is here today too. He said that if I raised 750 that he would shave his head and that really motivated me. Well, he, he set a low goal at first of 100 bucks. I said that I think we could do 250 and that if he'd get to 750 I'd shave my head too. Well, Lincoln raised over a thousand dollars, so father and son had to pay up with their hair. And they were happy to do it. If my kids ever want to do something that's worthwhile and character building, I'm all for it. So, couldn't be more proud of them. One by one, heads were shaved or hair was cut for donation. It was emotional for all, especially some of the girls. Besides raising money, these shavees are honoring two former students who battled cancer. One lost that battle, Matt Wilkins. He died in November of 2010 at the age of 13. Matt Wilkins is an honoree angel. Matt will be truly missed, and that's why I'm having my hair today. <laughs> Matt's little brother, Sam, who goes to Sawtooth now, shaved his head for his brother, too. I love my brother. You love your brother. I guess I don't need a haircut anymore. Mackenzie Lloyd is winning her battle. She's now a sophomore at Rocky Mountain High School. Well, she has battled cancer twice in the past two and a half years and is currently in remission. Let's give her a hand. She was first diagnosed in July of 2011, but it came back. I um, was re-diagnosed in August of this year, and um, I'm now in remission. I went through lots of treatment and a bone marrow transplant. It was kind of shocking because I'm, I'm so young, but I wouldn't change anything because I've learned a lot from it. And um, I just live my life to the fullest now. She loved being a part of this incredible event. It just means a lot more than you can imagine. All of these amazing students and staff members are showing how much they really care. We put it out to the school and whoever stepped up to do it stepped up. We ended up with a bigger turnout than we expected. And so we're just thrilled. Those who stepped up for kids with cancer at Sawtooth are Seven's heroes.